Right, so here are the clips, starting off with a couple of little mountain bike clips. First one's at 4K, 30 frames a second, EIS on, noise reduction not on. Second one is 1080, 60, EIS on, but noise reduction on. Well, there's a little bit of mountain bike track. Now, I don't have the wind noise reduction on. Uh, that's something to try for another time. But it is 4K, 30 frames a second. in and out of the sun. Let's see what this looks like. And here's the same thing. A bit of mountain biking but very windy and I've got the wind noise reduction on and this is at 1080 60 frames a second. So we can have a little comparison. going up the hill. In fact it's nearly killing me. But I'll give you an idea of what it's like. And this is using a strap around my forehead. Well here's a bit of driving footage. Pretty dull day. I know it's not designed as a dash cam but just as an indication what it looks like on a pretty crappy day quite a narrow field of view compared to an action cam be better suited in a way to um, better suited in a way to dash cams with a narrow field of view so that's enough of that right, well there's some nice little cottages along here they've probably been here for two or three hundred years I'll just show you those and I'm not sure how this is designed, it's described as a vlogging camera, I'm not sure how it's going to like the um, noise of my noisy old diesel engine in my van. But anyway, just a test anyway, a quick test. This is the road that leads down to where I keep my little £100 sailing dinghy. I was hoping the sun would come out because this is a lovely spot really. Wow, it's still full of cars, it shouldn't be. Right, so here's a proper bit of vlogging. Um, one thing to uh, mention about this little camera, it's got a field of view of 145 degrees, which is less than a which is less than action cameras, which is a 170, which means you do have to hold it steadier. But anyway, here you go. And so let's see what the audio sounds like. And this is 4K with EIS turned on. And this has to be one of the smallest 4K cameras you can get with EIS. I mean, it's tiny, about the size of a fat thumb. Right, that's it. That'll do for this bit. Well, I couldn't resist a bit of video of this. I mean, what a lovely bike. I think it's um, actually a recent Triumph, looking at the plate. But that is absolutely lovely. Yeah, I fancy that. I wonder how, the, um, how well it focuses close up. And finally, here's a little cloud time lapse. Well, there you are. Hope you enjoyed the clips. Not many there, but I wanted to give you an exclusive preview of this great little camera from Acaso. Hopefully when the weather improves, I'll get out and get some paragliding, paramotoring, sailing, mountain biking, motorbiking clips. And I, of course, well, I will post those. But all in all, I thought the clips were great. The lens is very sharp. The colors are nice. The EIS, that's the gyro stabilization was great at, at 4K 
30 frames a second but of course it also does 1080 60 and so on and i think the slightly narrower field of view is actually is very good too yeah i was very impressed with this now okay you could say but a bit of a shame it's not got a screen but how many times do you actually take a video and look at the screen and you soon get used to firing it up without using a screen anyway just by pressing the right buttons there i mentioned that it's not easy to hold when you're recording what I was doing for my clips was I showed you this gadget which incidentally moves around because it's on a ball and socket thing so you can bend it any way you want I mentioned this gadget well I was actually carrying the camera by sli slipping it in there magnetic mount and holding it like so which kept it nice and steady as you can see easy to hold that way the other thing to mention is I was thinking now why didn't they put a tripod mount on this somewhere well in fact I keep discovering things here because I say I couldn't get a proper manual there's actually a tripod mount screw in this so if you're into things like selfies and you've got one of these telescopic sticks and incidentally I'm not really into selfies if you've got one of those you can mount it on it and point it at yourself and talk to it if you're vlogging and really walking about and telling everyone what a great day you've got or if you've say got a gorilla pod one of these tripod things you can mount it on that to take a time lapse and the other thing as you saw in my mountain bike clip you can slip this on a strap around your forehead and you could use it when you were walking cycling well, all kinds of things really it is water resistant which is probably splash proof really so I don't you wouldn't dive with it but pretty useful bit of kit anyway and another thing to mention recording time apparently is around 60 minutes but I did test to see if it would record while it was plugged in and charging plugged it into a power pack and it will record longer than 60 minutes if it's plugged into an outside source that was turning it on via the app I'm not sure if it would work if you tried it that way anyway in conclusion I think a lot of thought has gone into the design of this little tiny camera and its accessories and the results given especially given that it's such a tiny little package have been amazingly good 4k at EIS from something this size I'm quite astounded really but that's it for now as I say more clips will be coming along if you found it useful why not check out my channel loads of stuff flying sailing paragliding motoring wildlife all kinds of stuff and maybe even hit subscribe and give me a like but that's it for now stay safe I'll catch you all again soon and thanks for watching